Tess. I attended Code with Classy St. Louis. I've never attended a Code with Classy camp before this one. My name's Ida. This is also my first camp. I also live in St. Louis. My name is Rashida. I also live in St. Louis, and this is also my first time at a Code with Classy camp. The first day, I was definitely nervous because I'd never coded before, and I was worried that it would be really fast-paced and I wouldn't understand what was happening, but it turned out to be really fun and I actually learned a lot even on the first day. Code for Classy isn't isn't like a regular classroom. It's more like you, know, you kind of become friends with instructors and the IAs and it's much more amazing than regular school. I actually think it was easy to talk to other people because even in breakout rooms, if we were done doing whatever the assignment was, we just start asking each other questions about like if we play sports or like what school we go to and stuff like that. So we each filled out a Google form um, about like things we were passionate about or interested in making our website about. Um, and then I think it was at the beginning of the second week, we got put in our groups based on like what we had filled out in the form. Um, so the main thing that like we shared was our interest in environmental justice. The reason we created this website is because a lot of people aren't aware of how severe of an issue pollution within the fashion industry is. I just think it's a really important issue because it affects all of our lives. It closely interties with um, environmental justice. We definitely wanted to do something concerning pollution, but that's obviously a very broad topic. And then I know we also um, try to include um, the social part of it, the social justice, and how lots of the workers for fast fashion are mistreated. Fast fashion is something that is relevant to our generation because we shop a lot, especially online. And we also didn't just want to list brands that are bad because then they don't have any reason to believe us. So it was important to us that like through our website, we weren't only like informing people about the issue but we were also giving like viable alternatives i learned more about how exactly this impacts the environment with the use of water for dyes i definitely like knew some things about the effects of fast fashion but i definitely didn't know how broad it was one of the things we included in our website was that the fashion industry is the second largest polluting industry just after the oil industry we take it for granted how well we have it and, and like, oh, we can buy some clothes. We don't, we don't really think past buying the clothes and wearing clothes. We never really had like one person in charge of JavaScript or one person in charge mm -hmm. of the HTML. We were all working together on all of those pieces. And I think that's part of why we were like so successful is everyone's like ideas went into every part. So for the first week of camp, we had, it was just learning again. We had many projects, but for the second week of camp, um, like three, four days before the end of camp, we got put into the groups. And that's when we really started to make the websites. And most of camp time was dedicated to making the website. However, um, we wanted to do a bit more. So I remember um, like at midnight, I was frantically trying to fix the CSS. And that went pretty well, I guess. And I also think our Zoom sessions that we did outside of the camp, that was like definitely one of the major players in how we got our website to work really well because we could communicate like on like face to face. I felt like the instructors made everything really easy to understand and they were always there like after um, camp if you needed some help with your website. Like we share our phone numbers, we're texting about the website. I think we will do something cool with this.